Okay, well, I wasn't ready to record. <sighs> My bad. And I was debating as to whether I should uh, plug up a ring light <clears throat> and all that. But um, as it sometimes happens, the the video just started recording and it does that because i have it on like this little wave thing it does if it detects motion like you know if i'm taking a picture i can be in front of the camera and i can just wave at it and it'll uh snap the picture so i think that's what i have it on hence it uh just starting to record on its own every now and then um but anyway, since it started recording, I guess it's like, fuck it, you don't need no ring light. Just, you know, pull some cards and let's get into it. So that's what we're going to do. All right, so just shuffling up a little bit. Divine forces of unconditional love, light, peace, both help, prosperity, and everything good, lovely, and wonderful. Jehuda, Yehuda. That's a new uh, deity that I have been hearing about or whatever. And I really feel like I resonate with him. So I would like to acknowledge that energy. Um, Papa Legba, you know, he, he's a cool cat. You know? The Council of Mothers, I ask you to come in, bring some answers. Archangel Michael, I ask that you come in and bring some clarity. Communicate clearly with us. Give me the words to communicate the message clearly. Ashe, Yemoja. You know, she's part of the Council of Mothers, along with Oshun and Isis, Sekme, Beset. All right, I guess they say shut up and let's get it started. Four of Swords, Six of Staffs, Nine of Cups, beautiful. Because I was just thinking, you know, the Four of Swords is that meditation energy. You know, and I feel like you've been in that vibe, in that high frequency a lot lately. And if you haven't, you need to. Um, I've actually started you know doing a new thing with my meditation which you know I've always heard you know people have always said in different videos or in different books that I've read that you know may have you know covered the topic a little bit is to clear your mind and one way you can do that is to just tap into your ears you know, and really take in all of the sounds that you hear, you know, whether it's the street, maybe whether it's the air condition going in the next room, like, and I've noticed that when I exercise that, it really does bring me in the present and allow me to just be. And it is so important to just be because when you're in that state, you are able to be guided. You are able to just flow. Because at the end of the day, all of our decisions that we make is a split second decision, you know? And Papa Legba, AKA Eshu, you know, a lot of people connect those two are, you know, he, Eshu is that Orisha, that God of, you know, you know, split second decisions, you know, decisions that are made or that happen by chance. But you're, you know, at the end of the day, all decisions, because there's so many different um, ways that we can perceive it or different, a lot of different perspectives in which we can look at a situation or a decision. There's, you know, a million different variables that can go into it. And so at the end of the day, when we make that decision, it's, you know, 
somewhat of a split second decision. But anyway, um, the meditation, let's get back to that. Let's get back to the read, actually, because I don't even know where that was going. <laughs> but anyway, we have this four source energy. And if you know, you've been in this four source energy and it has brought about victory because we have the six of staffs here. And then below the six of staffs, we have the nine of swords. You know, it has brought about victory over anxiety. You know, there's a lot of stuff going on in the world. And mind you, this four of swords card underneath it is the devil card. You being in this meditation energy is helping you to overcome obsessions. It's helping you to uh, stop overthinking things and knowing that you're worthy, that you're loved, and that you matter, and that you matter, and that everything is going to work out. This meditation energy helps you to walk in faith, you know, and to just trust, um, to sit back and relax and know that your ancestors, your spirit guides, the ascended masters, they got you. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of temptation, perhaps, that you may have been um, subjected to, some obsessions, some toxicity that you've experienced. But this four source energy, you being able to use that tool of meditation to ground yourself is providing you victory over all of that shit. Long story short, your battles are fought in the in the spirit realm. Your battles are being fought. Your ancestors are saying, trust me. I got you, boo. But when you step in or when you get into this energy of worry and fear, that's low vibrational. And when you lower your vibes, then, you know, demonic devil-like energies are able to jump on you and bring problem after problem, have you in this nine of swords energy, worried all the time. But because you are really tapping into and strengthening that meditation muscle, strengthening that faith muscle, strengthening that just being and flowing muscle, you're, you're, you're going to be, that's your way, that's the way to win you know, how to receive victory. And again, the last, this card here is the Nine of Cups. Wish fulfillment. Which is control. Underneath the Nine of Cups is the Emperor card. Taking control with authority. Making those executive decisions. With the help of your spirit guides and your ancestors, you can be confident in the decisions you make because you're being spirit led in this meditation energy. So uh, let's get some clarifiers out here for each of these cards. Page of staffs, that's the action. That's the idea that's, that's you know, that you need to take hair front over the six of staffs the victory the victory is taking the spiritual route and that's what's going to help you to uh, overcome this depression with the four of cups this depression energy you know the nine of cups is wish fulfillment i know your wish fulfillment isn't depression so <laughs> obviously your wish fulfillment is to come out of that energy you know, not being obsessed with what's going around you. Maybe the toxic shit that is going on around you. Maybe the toxic actions that people um, may take. You know, people may do shit to purposely annoy you. Or you may see some post on Facebook or something that is completely ignorant to you because you've done the work you've done the um, spiritual work and you've grounded yourself in your beliefs 
and you see people judging what you do when you know you operate in love and light. You know you want the best for everyone. You know your prayers are for the highest good of all. For the highest good of all. Yet people say that you're demonic. Yet people say you're evil because you seek guidance in everything, in cards, in crystals, in nature. You're demonic. And it's frustrating. It's so frustrating because you know that if they just try it, they will feel the love in it. How can you judge something you've never tried? You know? And a lot of these people, you know, are operating in societal values. This could, you know, the hair fund card could represent that. This is, you know, big organizations could represent big organizations and corporations as well. And that's coming out over the six of staffs. You're 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 having victory over that because you are in the energy of just flow and you are, you know, receiving messages from spirit <clears throat> in many different ways. Your your mind isn't bound because it's, you know, we have the page of staffs uh over the four of swords. You have the mind of a child, you know, not in a bad way, but in a way that it is open to different experiences and exploring and not being tied down is free. And in that you are, you are experience, experiencing so much, you know, we have the three of cups here underneath the six of staffs and the hair of fun. And clarifying the nine of swords, your ancestors are celebrating. Your ancestors are proud of you. You know, because you've done the work. You know, faith without works is dead. You know, so you tried different things and you found what resonates for you. And the only reason you tried different things is because you quiet, you Listen to the guidance that you had versus the uh, fear tactics that may have been put on you by society, by religion, you know. And you made that executive decision here with the uh, emperor card here. The way of society of religion that is perhaps what had you in this depression energy and now you've overcome that six of stats you're victorious over that and you're receiving wish fulfillment and your ancestors with the temperance card are proud of you and they are working you have invited them in even the more with this temperance card clarifying the emperor and that's why you are the emperor is because you t you tapped into your higher self. Bottom of the deck is the two of staffs. And that's, you know, a decision whether to remain stagnant or to ascend. And you chose to ascend. You chose to challenge those thoughts. You decided to challenge society. You decided to challenge religion. If it's the truth, it should be able to withstand that challenging. But as you did that, you found that it was weak and that it couldn't sustain you. And your, again, your ancestors are proud of you. Nine of Swords, it was, it was hard. There was a lot of anxiety involved in that, in you challenging those uh, societal values and beliefs. But you did that. Knight of Staffs, you took action, you know, over the, the, the bondage of the mind that societal values have and religion have over the masses. 
You took action. You said, no, I'm not just going to hand my power over. I'm not just going to allow you to tell me how to think. With the swords energy here, four of swords. You went in and you really, you know, did some retrospection and some introspection. And that brought about this page of staffs, this new idea, this, like, this zeal. It's like, no, something, something... I got to, something, something else, something got to, something got to give. Like, there has to be more. This page of staffs is the energy of there has to be more. And night of staff, she took that action. Nights are movement. It's movement. Pages are ideas and staffs. It's movement. You know. So, um, these are some therapy cards that's interesting this is <laughs> I'm glad that it came out this is just a card that kind of describes this deck and I really forgot how I could describe it and this came out so thank you spirit thank you Yehuda Papa Ligba ancestor spirit guides but this is a cognitive behavioral behavioral therapy deck you know it's it is a practical and action-oriented approach for quickly building positive emotions and meaningful engagement in your life. You'll find three powerful types of practices in the CBT deck, the Cognitive Behavior Therapy deck. Uh, these practices are think, act, and be. So we have an act card that came out. And it says, think of one thing you've really wanted to do that you've put on hold, like writing that book, finding a better job, or starting to date. Perhaps you've told yourself that it won't be the right time until you, fe until you feel better, aren't so busy, are less anxious, and so forth. If you're able to do it now, then why wait for the perfect time? Choose to take the first step today. Maybe one of the things that you've wanted to do that you've put off is, you know, learning different ways, uh, learning different traditions, challenging that societal value, challenging that religion or um, tradition that you were born into. And, and doing something different. Okay. So the next uh, practice is B, just be. Seeing anew, exactly, trying something different. And in you trying that, you will be victorious. You will see anew. And your ancestors will be proud of you because they want you to expand your mind. It says, pick up a book today as if it's the first time you've seen one. First time you've ever seen a book. Study it carefully, noticing its texture and contours, its weight, its construction. Like, I've mm, never seen a book before. What is this? Mm. <laughs> its smell. Hear the sound it makes as you open it and turn the pages. You know, with the meditation, you know, tuning into the sound. What do you notice that never stood out before? Look for other opportunities today to see your world as if for the first time, like a child. Say you take yourself back to a child. And you're seeing the world for the first time and no one gave you a religion. No one gave, taught, you know, gave you, uh, taught you how to, or shaped your mind and told you what to think. Do you think you'll still be following tradi uh, whatever religion you're following? Because truly at the end of the day, <laughs> my view, you know, because I've, read into Hinduism, Buddhism. Uh, of course, I was raised in Christianity, um, in Ifa, 
I feel like all of those things with titles low key can be distractions from you truly tapping in to you and finding out who you truly are. All of those things are just tools for you to find you, for you to learn and know thyself. That's all those things should be used for, you know, and eventually you will outgrow. You may outgrow each of them. You don't have to stay in a certain belief for your whole entire life. You know, we grow, we evolve. So the next card in practice, we the next one um, is B, another B card. It says, thank you, good night. Excuse me. Place a pen and paper by your bed. Just before you go to bed tonight, write down three things you're grateful for about your day. That's beautiful. That's a really nice thing to do. Um, I'm, ex I'm excited to do that tonight and to make that a routine, actually. I feel like that'll be really, really, really good, you know? And this is coming out underneath the Four of Cups, Nine of Cups, that depression energy. If you were depressed today, if you just sit down and think about three things you're grateful for, that happened during, to you know, this day or whatever day you do it. It's a good way to come bring you out of that depression, to temper that, to bring balance to your emotions. You know, the temperance card, you have one foot in the water, the emotions, and one foot on the ground, you know, where you're grounded. It's like being balanced, you know. That is, you know, true control that's that emperor card that's true mastery being balanced balancing out your emotions and you know um your physical being like what is that an example of you know the physical your your security your emotions and being secure in who you are being confident in who you are Anyway, we'll keep going. Your gratitude list might include the people you love, daily experiences like the food you eat, something that went well today, or whatever you like. Allow what you write to fill your mind as you turn off the light and go to sleep. Okay. Okay. Um, let's, I'm tempted. Do I want to get an oracle card? <sighs> I'm sorry. It says, thank you, good night. It's probably about time for me to say thank you and good night and go to sleep myself. So it's somewhat uh, the perfect card. Sending everyone love and light. Just good energy, unconditional love, light, peace, wealth, health, prosperity, and everything good, lovely, and wonderful. For the highest good of all. So we have here Spirit Bear of 396 Hertz. I don't think I've ever pulled this card. I'm sure there's a lot of cards in the deck I hadn't pulled. But it is 15, which adds up to a 6. 6 can re represent reconciliation. Maybe this is you reconciling with your higher self. 6 can represent healing as well. <clears throat> 15. Wow. It says you are being healed from guilt and fear. Maybe the guilt you feel from changing your beliefs and, and looking 
or just you may not even change your belief just looking into different beliefs you may feel guilt from that because there's heavy heavy brainwashing that is within a lot of religions not traditions but religions whether it be of the muslim variety um islam or jewish or catholic you know those are more like religions versus traditions you know most traditions are going to be you know going to include nature a lot you know in my opinion so i feel but it says such emotions will no longer still <clears throat> Steal your personal power or dissuade you from confidence. You know, we were speaking about that. Your security and self with the temperance card. Um, happiness and realizing your own worth. You know, knowing thyself. No matter how unlikely it may seem, you are going to emerge from a spiritual winter, four of swords, that's meditation, that introspection. You're going to emerge from a spiritual winter into light and life. Beautiful. I think we mentioned that in the reading. The divinely ordained time, time for your liberation, seeing anew, right? For your liberation, healing, and emergence is much closer than you realize. Abundant blessings are stirring and shall soon manifest. I read a post today that said manifesting was witchcraft and sorcery. Like, what? It's crazy. Didn't the Bible say, as a man thinketh, so is he? So if you think in, thinking of something... It's like, as a man think it, and like your thoughts manifest. How can that be witchcraft and sorcery in the Bible tell you to do that? Like, it blows my mind how some people post these things and don't see the contradiction in it. The frequency of 396 hertz it's deeply nurturing and protective. It is the heart frequency of the universal mother. And I did call on the Council of Mothers before we started. Spoke a lot of the mothers, some of the mothers' names. Oh, that's beautiful. It is the heart frequency of the universal mother protecting her young, deflecting negativity and refusing to overly condition the youthful mind, <laughs> right? Imagine yourself as a child again. What is that? Yeah, seeing things for the first time. Wow. Refusing to overly condition the youthful mind, the page of staffs. She looks out for them and provides warnings lest they wander too far from their authentic path. Know thyself. But she also encourages the child to learn who they are, to courageously explore their world and to enjoy their freedom. Irrespective to our personal experience with our biological mother, the divine mother energy in the soul is loving, protective, available, and kind. That's that temperance energy as well. I feel. This inner mother love enables us to develop our own sense of personal value, not the not the societal values that have been conditioned into us from ch childhood. The Willie Lynch, those, con those 
we were conditioned. And a lot of people are still operating in that conditioning. But the mother, the universal mother, is trying to, you know, bring us back not uh, to, to keep us from wandering too far off of our authentic path. Not the one that other people have tried to um, put us on and, and tell us this is what you should do. But the one you wrote when you came, when you incarnated into this lifetime. This inner mother love enables us to develop our own sense of personal value, belonging, and home. In connection with the inner divine mother, we feel loved, wanted, and hailed. We know ourselves well enough to understand what we need, and we value ourselves enough to live in such a way that our needs are met. We recognize that we matter, not more than any other, but enough to feel self-love and self-respect, the temperance card. Self-love and self-respect. We can connect to our to our, our, <laughs> our authentic life path because we feel worthy of it. Our authentic life path. Not the life path someone else says we should live. This nurturing frequency heals the heart and softens the walls which keep love out due to our past abandonment and betrayal. When we are more open to life, the path to fruition becomes more accessible and direct. When we connect with our authentic path, we can access the abundance of spiritual support available. Again, the temperance card over this emperor card, get take, taking back control with the with uh take with the with wait a minute with authority taking back control with authority because you know so you know that you're on you're on your authentic path When we connect with our authentic path, we can access the abundance of spiritual support available to us, the Four of Swords as well, and make the most spiritual progress. A lot of people are stagnant in those religions, I feel. That guidance, when you, can, when you just be, that guidance may rise as a no or an not right now, or as a yes, and go for it. When we are in the heart, we will clearly sense such guidance and take comfort in it rather than fight against it. And I need to learn to live in the heart more, to run things through my heart, to really understand what that is. You know, we have to intend to do that and do it on a consistent basis in order for it to become second nature, so in order for you to understand the different feelings that come so you can discern whether that feeling is a yes or a no. And I'm, it's not that hard, <laughs> you know, I'm sure it's, it's not that hard because if it makes you feel good, it's a yes. If it makes you feel doubtful or fearful or whatever, it may be a no. I wouldn't say I feel doubtful or fearful. Maybe feel sad because we're we're working to overcome fear. You know. But again, we're on this journey together, so we, we're figuring this out together.
as we let go of our defense systems, disabling fear, letting, letting let go of the defense system that helps to disable fear and guilt from running our lives. Let go of our defense system. Just be and to flow and know that we're protected, that we're guided. Stay in that high vibration. As we let go of our defense systems, which disables fear and guilt from running our lives and instead deal with them as occasional interloper lopers that need to be cleared and healed, we stop fearing we will never have what we genuinely want and need. Let go of our defense systems. And instead, deal with them as an occasional interlopers that need to be cleared and healed. The fear and the guilt are occasional interlopers that need to be cleared and healed. So we need to figure out why we're fearful. Why there's guilt from wanting more. Why you don't feel worthy of your authentic path, your birthright. You know, and when you deal with it and heal it, clear it understand it you stop fearing that you will never have what you genuinely want and need it says we realize we are loved we know how to love and are naturally innately beings of love this frequency the 396 hertz which you can go on youtube type in 396 hertz and and play that while you sleep tonight you know Play it, see how you feel. If it gives you that nurturing feeling like it says here, allow yourself to rest with it. If you're not sure about it, don't do it until you you know for sure, you know. But it, like, like I said here, let go of your defense system, your defense systems, and deal with that fear. And perhaps guilt. Really look into it. And if you can, if you can overcome it, play it. If you can't, give yourself some time. Maybe it's like you said, like the card said. You know, it may be a no. It may be a not right now. But as you continue on this path and on this journey, you may be able to open yourself up to it more. But you know, it's a journey. So take your time. This frequency helps the body to ground. It helps the mind settle into the body rather than constantly flitting from one possibility to the next, creating excitement, but also an access of nervous energy, that overthinking, right? That four of source energy, page of staffs, the action that we may need to take is playing some 396 hertz. That, help, that will help us to ground ourselves as we go through this journey of, you know, challenging our, our belief systems so that we can continue to evolve and to elevate and to awaken, to ascend. It helps the mind and body play nicely with each other, supporting each other rather than opposing each other. Then your mind won't won't be constantly harangu haranguing. I don't think I'm pronouncing that right. Haranguing your body, <laughs> leaving it feeling bad about itself, tired, or unhappy, or even angry and rebellious. 
That could be this double energy. The mind and the body isn't on one accord. In these and other ways, the 396 hertz frequency helps reconcile the push-pull of competing interests, integrating awareness in the heart, and providing a clear pathway to a transcendent resolution where all is working for the one higher purpose, for the highest good of all. I mentioned that. This frequency harmonizes beautifully, this temperance card energy, that balance, harmony of the mind and body, the emotions and the body, you know, as well. This frequency harmonizes beautifully with the spiritual medicine of the bare soul totem. It encourages our natural ability to find the sweetness in life necessary, Oshun, the sweetness in life necessary to sustain hope and heal our hearts. The sweetness, finding the sweetness in life that, you know, writing down three things that you're grateful for, finding that sweetness in life. Because it's necessary to sustain hope and to heal our hearts. It's necessary to overcome depression. With the Four of Cups here. Spirit Bear connects us to the restorative power of hibernation. That deep rest of body and mind, Four of Swords. If you're highly strong... That could be the devil card, obsessed. If you're highly strong and like many modern people find it hard to consciously relax your body, remember the meditation, listen to your surroundings, really listen to everything, take it in. And find it hard to consciously relax your mind and body through spiritual practices. Spirit Bear brings the comfort and encouragement to allow your mind to rest within the body. It is as if the mind were a cave for renewal, safe from predators and external forces, undisturbed and able to rest. This oracle oracle urges you to go within where there is tr a tremendous healing force awakening. Remember the four swords and the six of staffs going within. Meditating is going to bring you victory and wish fulfillment. This oracle urges you to go within where there is a tremendous healing force awakening. Give it the time and space it needs to do its work, its best work for you. Give it the time and space it needs to do its best work for you. The healing process. Find a place to lie down comfortably on your back with your arms and legs slightly apart and your head slightly elevated so your neck is comfortable. If you tend to cool down as you relax, as many people do, cover yourself with appropriate layers. If you have a health condition which prevents you from lying down, seat yourself comfortably and say this prayer. I invoke the healing frequency of unconditional love and wisdom of the Divine Mother. May my body, mind, and soul be sheltered in a sanctuary of protective grace to fully relax and deeply heal. Wow. Now is time. Now it is time for you to relax. You can play sacred music or simply listen to your own breath flowing in and out. If the room can be darkened, this can pr promote restfulness too. If you are tired, you will likely fall asleep rather than simply rest. That is okay. 
Gently ease your muscles into a state of relaxation, allowing them to become heavy and settled. That's good. It's just descriptive words are really good. These are things that you can apply to help you meditate along with, you know, really taking in all of the sounds of your ear. And that is to be in a darkened room and to also to gently ease your muscles into a state of relaxation, allowing them to become heavy and settled. Allow your awareness to, and we have seeing a new. I thought one of these cards actually spoke the word awareness, but I think it was the anew. But anyway, I'm sorry. Let me get back into it. Allow your awareness to continue to drift within until your mind begins to let go. Your mind may like to rest within your body or on your breath or float away in reverie. Rest for as long as you choose. Emerging from hibernation can take some time and adjustment. Move slowly if needs be. Ground, nourish, and hydrate your body. You have completed your healing process. All right, family, that is what I have for you. I'm so happy that I came on and that, you know, the camera just started recording. I think we're good. That's where I will end it. Um, I love you all. And until next time, peace.